Hello guys, it's Teenage Marvels fan, and I am here with a, a news video because Hulu has partnered with Marvel to produce four new TV shows, which will include Modoc, Howard the Duck, Hitmonkey, and Tiger and Dazzler. Um, then there will also be a fifth show that will. It'll kind of be like how the Defenders was, where they had, like, the separate shows of, like, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist. And then they all came together in the Defenders show. Well, that's what they're going to do here. And they're all going to come together to form the Offenders. Uh, I don't know if that's an actual team or not. It might be, but kind of just sounds like it's a knockoff of the Defenders. And I really hope that this doesn't turn out like the Netflix deal with Marvel because, well, you know, those shows are canceled now, so these could be promising, I'm not too sure. Uh, obviously, I've he heard, at least heard of all these characters. Um, I'll start off with MODOK, so, like, I love MODOK, he's, like, one of my favorite villains, and uh, I'm glad that he's getting his own show. I'm interested to see how they're going to do it, but I'm not really liking his design here. And then Howard the Duck, I'm honestly not surprised that he's getting his own TV show because he's definitely popular enough and can definitely hold his own for his own TV series. And, um, like, I saw his movie um, that came out, like, a long time ago. Uh, not sure when, but... It's an old movie, and yeah, he's, it, it'll be an interesting show because he's like a talking duck that can do quack foo and stuff like that. Then Hitmonkey, I don't really know too much about Hitmonkey, basically he's a, an assassin monkey, and yeah, I that'll be an interesting show. And then Dazzler and Tigra, I've heard of these characters. But I have no idea why they would make a TV show about these two characters. They're, like, so obscure that it's, like, why would you make a TV show about them? Nobody knows who these characters are. Although, sometimes that is why TV shows are made about comic books. Like, to get people aware about these characters. Um, sometimes it's, like, they're going to be in the live action movies at some point. So maybe that might be why they're making these characters TV shows to get people um, uh, familiar with them in case they make a movie with them in it. So I would definitely like to see like um, MODOK in a movie and then Howard the Duck was already in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 and 2 in a cameo. Then the summaries for the TV shows is Modoc centers around an egomaniacal supervillain with a really big head and a really little body who struggles to maintain control of his evil organization and his demanding family. Writers Jordan Blum and Patton Oswalt will also executive produce. Hitmonkey tells the tale of a wronged Japanese snow monkey, mentored by the ghost of an American s assassin, as he cuts a wide swath through the Tokyo underworld in this darkly cinematic and brutally funny revenge saga. Writers Josh, Josh Gordon and Will Speck will executive produce. The Tiger and Dazzler Show is a story about two woke superheroes and best friends, Tiger and Dazzler, as they fight for, rec for recognition recognition among powered people who make up the 8 million stories in Los Angeles. Writers Erica Rivenoja and Chelsea Handler serve as executive producers. Howard the Duck is trapped in a world he never made, but America's favorite fighting fowl hopes to return home with the help of his unstoppable gal pal Beverly before the evil Dr. Bong can turn him into the crispiest dish on the menu. Writers Kevin Smith and Dave Willis will also executive produce. Then The Offenders, where all these characters come together, follows Modoc, Dazzler, Tigra, Hitmonkey, and Howard the Duck 
as they are all forced to team up in order to save the world and certain parts of the universe. Now, something I would like to note is that these are adult shows, so you might not want kids watching these, but I'm not sure, like, if they'll be, like, PG-13 or rated R or anything like that. I'm not sure. But, um, uh, overall, that's pretty much what I have to say about this. I'm definitely looking forward to see how these shows do, and hopefully it doesn't end up like the Netflix thing. And, yeah, so that's it for this video. Uh, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.